In the book of John chapter 6, verse 48, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Verse 51, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Verse 53, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whosoever eateth the flesh, and drinketh the blood, hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink in it. And he that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me and I in him. Can you see how the mystery of us being the oracle of God came about? We are living in him and he is living in us. So why will I not be a miracle carrier? He says in verse 57, As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. You see the importance of the communion now. So I'm not living based on my human intellect. I'm not living based on my human power. I'm living based on his grace that is released towards the communion, the mystery of the communion. So Jesus says, I will live by him. Lift up your hand and declare, Lord, I live for you. I live by you for the rest of my life. This is why no sickness thrive in my body. No disease, no affliction in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put hands together for Jesus Christ. As we round up the service tonight, if you are in church, all that we talked about is about the power of Jesus, the Son of God. That sister that came to testify. How can the doctor help you to come against the spirit of death? And most people come, they have interaction with this spirit in their dream, but they don't know the meaning. When I was praying over that lady, the devil was saying, I've come to take her so many times, but she's escaping. But this time she will not escape. Only the power of God can stop that. But it comes about by the revelation of Jesus. If you don't have that revelation, you don't do anything in the kingdom of God. We live by revelation. You are in church tonight. You have been a religious person all your life. You were born. Your name is John, I know. Your father's name is Zachariah. In fact, your mom's name is Elizabeth. But you don't have the revelation of Jesus. And you would love to have that revelation tonight. That is where the life of Christ begins. Wherever you are, step to the front. Let me pray for you. It simply means you want to know Jesus personally. It is possible. It comes by revelation. When you have that revelation, you can't go back from following him. You become an addict. You become addicted to Jesus. That is what.